Good evening. This is Strange Love, and I'm your host, Cami Chaos. Welcome, babies. Good evening, and welcome to another edition of Strange Love. I'm Cami Chaos, and as always, I'm joined by Dr. Normal. Hello. And this week, we have not one, not two, but three very special guests, three out of the four members of the Shazow team, Don Foster, Sam Keen, and Mark Wallert. Did I say it right? Fantastic. Say hello, everybody. Hello. 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 So, does one of you want to tell us what Shazow is? Because some people might be living under a rock or not in Portland. Um, sure. <laughs> we have one member without a mic and without <laughs> headphones, and he's going to tell you. Mark is going to tell you about Shazow. Yeah, yeah, that's a great idea. Um, so I have a couple different explanations, and I'll go with this one. Um, nowadays, people are so busy, have a terrible time hooking up with friends. Um, the three of us that started this, me and Sam and Ryan, we used to get together and code on the weekends, and I'd call Ryan Saturday morning. We'd figure out where we'd want to go, and I'd call Sam to tell him, and he's already somewhere else. i got to call Ryan back and tell him not to go where we're going to go. <laughs> and, um, so we just want an easier way to hook up, to know where you're, each other are out, to find each other. And other friends, just a hard time coordinating schedules, and there's times where we pass each other and we don't even know it. Mm-hmm. So just a way to get people together, make use of those opportunities. That was the core idea. And it works pretty much like it sounds. Yeah. So what made you want to do this on a broader scheme than just finding a way? Like Twitter, you could easily tweet, this is where I am, and, and have that contact with your friends. What made you want to do it on a larger scale? Because this is a larger scale. I mean, you know, you've dedicated an entire application to it. Yeah, I think um, we saw Twitter attempting to do what we're doing. Um, what we wanted to do is make it as automated and easy as possible to to locate yourself and to keep track of your core group of friends and and to foster face-to-face meetings rather than we're much about maintaining quality relationships with uh, somewhat closer friends than um, you may have on Twitter. You may have hundreds and thousands of uh, people you're listening to on Twitter, but here it's more, it's geographic based. It's mostly going to be people that or in your geographic area that that you meet on a face-to-face basis. And then also a side effect is that uh, because you can uh, tag yourself, uh, you kind of build a profile of yourself, um, you may drive face-to-face meetings with people you don't know. Mm -hmm. And I think, too, one of the things about Twitter is there's so much other information that a lot of times the, oh, hey, I'm working in this coffee shop kind of gets lost. Yeah. Um, And one of the things I think that Shazao does really well is Um, identify people who are nearby. So if I'm at, say, Common Grounds on Hawthorne, and I look at the nearby places because I'm looking for somewhere else to go, and I see that Sam's at Albina Press, which is just a few blocks up, you know, that shows me who's who's around, and not just the people that I'm listening to and the people that I'm, you know, um, more close, have closer relationships with, but all of the people on Chazao. Yeah. I really like the map feature. I was looking, and at first when I was uh, playing with it and figuring it out, I saw the list, and I was like, oh, okay list and then I said the map and I was like oh oh that's very useful it makes more sense for me because then you can kind of look at it spatially instead of just you know a stream of information yeah and then you can click on the map too and see individual people who are at the individual markers yes which is really helpful now the information that's on there when I signed up I looked and there's already a lot of my a lot of places in my neighborhood are already listed on Shazao Did someone go in and enter those, or is it just users that have been to those places and and shouted that? Yeah, I mean, we've been building Shazao since, I think, last September. Yeah. And it's been pretty functional for quite a while. For It's supported three people for quite a while. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Um, So we've been adding quite a few places, and we also uh, utilize external search services to to pull in places um like lo- local searches to pull in places um yeah i wondered about that when my hairdresser was already <laughs> yeah <laughs> i was like does someone else on Shazao go and see francis i don't know what's going on no we've uh yeah and we tried to make that a seamless um workflow to where it's um you're not 
uh, it's it's easy to to locate yourself and mm -hmm. it's it's a streamlined process as streamlined as it can get i mean it's never going to be perfect we'll just keep aspiring for that and we actually give the users a lot of power with the place data as well so if you see some place that's either not on the map correctly you can move the markers around um, you can also update location so i noticed the other day i was at red and black and it still showed it over on division which it hasn't been for um, a, a number of time. months yes so i moved it to its correct address over on oak street but as a regular user not as a shazao admin yeah wow so what do you guys see shazao doing where do you see it going because i've already had someone when I, when i had my two shazao invites and i asked if anyone i gave one to dr normal and i asked if anyone wanted one and immediately I had someone who's on the east coast ask me what it was so I sent them to your about page, and, and I said, I, I don't think that you can use it right now, though. So do you okay. see that happening at some point? Again? Yeah, yeah. we'd like to roll out to other cities. Portland, I it's our home, and mm -hmm. it's if we can get Portland right, we can feel confident in other places. Mm -hmm. And we'd rather do our work here and get things right. So we're mm -hmm. starting with here, but we'd like to see it all over the world. And there's a lot it offers to people in Portland traveling when you can use it other places. Yeah, I can go to foreign cities. I don't know any of the places there, and I can search for people tagged like me with similar interests. And where do they go? Mm -hmm. So, right. so how does the tag now? Let's see how the I understand the tagging for the the places. Mm -hmm. I understand how the tagging for the places works, but is there actually tagging for individuals as well? There is, and we plan to do a lot more with it. But I mean, I can tag my interests. Um, I like to code. I like coffee. I like food. I like drinks and wine and. And I can search for people with similar interests nearby. Mm -hmm. And I can see places they go and get turned on to new places I don't know about. There's, there's a lot to offer there, I think. And that's one area where we have a lot of room to grow and become stronger. Mm -hmm. We're really good at putting people together with their friends they've already put on their list. We're not as good yet on getting people together who you don't know. And we plan to reinforce that area a lot. Is there a way yet to pull in from other applications? say you want to follow all you know 72 billion people that you follow on twitter which i mean isn't practical and i wouldn't actually want to follow all of them but say you wanted to draw in people or you wanted to see if the people that you follow on twitter if they're there is there a way to do that or is that something you've considered we don't have that right now we've considered it but we really want to get our core functionality nailed yeah. before we go off and doing these types of you things. Get things. So it's perfect it's not before you. It's not a near future thing. We're yeah. considering it. Yeah. But it's it's a handy bonus. It's not the core functionality of the site. Yeah. iPhone interface. <laughs> everything <laughs> everything boils down to one thing with Dr. Normal. He wants yeah. to know how he can if more effectively use I'm it on using, his iPhone. I want an interface for it, right? So, uh, you know, a year or two ago I would have said a Palm interface, but no, not so much now. Now iPhone interface, but or maybe like a mobile kind of a See, I don't like interface. the mobile. I don't like mobile interfaces. A lot of the mobile interfaces that I get that you just look at the browser on iPhone, I'm not fond of. But the things that are made specifically as an iPhone interface, I I do like a little bit more. Yeah, cuz it's kind of is, is there anything in the works for that or something thinking about? Um I think oh, I'm sorry. Go for it. The I mean the precursor to that is to build out the API uh, to access and and we want to do that right and responsibly. We have some sensitive data sure. that we just don't want to let anyone dive into. Uh, we're probably looking at OAuth as a way to authenticate and authorize access to that. Hmm. Um, and then we have quite a few people um, not only interested in uh, an iPhone application but offering to help write that as soon as they have the API. So. Mm -hmm. That's so that's something you're actively working on as far as, or, or looking at as a feature down the road is the, is yeah. the API in place. Yeah, definitely. Um, in the, starting out in the September timeframe, that's the, right now we have some, uh, some upkeep and some, we've kind of distilled all the immense get satisfaction feedback, which we love, um, mm -hmm. but we're yeah. kind of, you know, picked what's the low-hanging fruit that we can kind of take care of and, you know, what's mm -hmm. important we need to take care of. And once that's all stitched up, then, yeah, it's it's all about the API. And we're also getting ready to start the mobile interface. I think Ryan said he was going to start working on that in the next couple of weeks. So we will have some type of mobile interface. Yeah, that'd be another option is a, a styled version of the site. Oh, great. So, you know, M.Chazelle, essentially. 
Yeah, that's actually was going to be my my main question was yeah. when when do we see an M dot Chazelle right? Because that that would be helpful just on on any sort of mobile device, mm-hmm. including an iPhone. Yes, right. Just less clicks and and easier to update and and look at things. Although I find that sometimes sometimes mobile interfaces are kind of con- constricting too. I'm not too fond of the Twitter mobile interface. You know, it just just seems like you can't see everything. Yeah. Main interface. Yeah. And with or, the API you give yeah. whoever's using that the tools to to use the device's capabilities to to build that interface in a in a you know, a native way that so it it looks just like an iPhone app. How about other cities? We already we already covered that. Oh, I'm listening. <laughs> <laughs> well, what what is the next city? We have Did decided, you cover that? <laughs> we have not decided exactly what the next city is going to be. I am putting together a world domination plan in which case we are we are looking at at different cities we're going to expand to i mean there there are certain logical choices like seattle austin bay area kind of thing so we're certainly looking at those as possibilities for the next one. Oh, cool maybe international we we, we talked about that no 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 <laughs> <laughs> i'm pushing buttons we, we have some data stuff to work out before we can go international right. dr normal has some data stuff to work out <laughs> you can listen to the show. Lots of data stuff <laughs> to work out. Canada's looking pretty good, though. We'll probably be there. Oh, really? Reasonably soon. Oh, wow. Cool. The yeah, rest will take a little more work. Vancouver's a swing in town. So that was that was something. Do you guys have... I know that you have several Vancouver users. Um, is it functional for Vancouver as well? Does it include Vancouver? Because I think I've seen You're talking some, about Vancouver, Washington? I'm talking about Vancouver, Washington, not Vancouver, oh, Canada. Sorry. Yes, I'm talking about the home of, you know... Hockley and the the boroughs is, mm-hmm. um, it's functional in Vancouver. Oh it's yeah, the Portland metro area. Yeah. yeah, it's actually functional anywhere. So the people traveling it. <laughs> <laughs> there was some. You some will mild notice elbowing. the people. You will notice the people traveling at Gnome Decks in Seattle right now are shouting from locations in Seattle because they can enter anything that they want to. It's just, it's just, so the issue is just that was only useful if you have a critical mass of people around you using it. Correct. So that's why we've started in Portland, and that's why we're looking at going kind of a city by city model, because it doesn't make sense if I'm the only guy in Gary, Indiana, with a Shazao invite. Woo! There's no one near me ever. Yeah. And it's just so I could go to Egypt tomorrow, useful. and I could shout to the rafters that I was there, but it wouldn't really do much good. You could, yeah. I've shouted from Spain actually, and Sam shouted from Italy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So this brings us to the point, we're all self-funded currently. We Mm -hmm. have full-time day jobs and we pay for what we have out of our own pocket. Mm -hmm. And we don't have the servers behind us right now. We can't pay for the servers every month to support Mm -hmm. the entire world. Mm -hmm. So rather than dish it out to a few people in a couple cities, we'd rather let everybody in Portland be able to use it and build from there. And I appreciate that. And not just because I'm in Portland. I'm sure I could think of another reason to appreciate that too. Portland's a very... No, I can't. I'm just happy because I'm in Portland. But um. so you guys are hosting it yourselves, or just wow? Yes. So that's that can be kind of exciting. Your your uh, monthly data bill. And <laughs> I wouldn't call that exciting. Yeah, it's watching the child grow. <laughs> Scary, All right? Yeah. And, and we're actually doing a server move this, this weekend. weekend, tomorrow at two p.m. So we expect everyone to be napping while we move the server. I, uh, um, okay, I'll nap. <laughs> Big breakfast tomorrow morning. Yeah. Um, I've been told to take a nap tomorrow at 2 p.m., so no one bug me. There we go. I'll take any excuse I can to take a nap. It's fantastic for me. Um, it was less than a month ago, if I'm not mistaken, that you guys started the beta with the other users aside from the three initial users. What did you expect? I mean, was there anything you expected to go wrong? Was there any, ex- what? Did it go as you expected, or were there some surprises? It went beautifully. Um, There are some fundamental... It's similar to Twitter, like you talked about earlier, but there's some fundamental differences. And we weren't sure people would get the differences, and they might be unhappy that it doesn't work exactly like Twitter works, but it's not meant to. Mm -hmm. That was one concern I had. Would people get the differences? And they did. It's really clicked with people. People are taken off with it, and it's great to see. But yep. that, that was a concern I had. You don't see as much Twitter, especially, I'm, and I'm guilty of this, it, it, it causes random babbling. Um, and I haven't seen that. When I've looked at the, at the people's shouts on Chazelle. You're, you're guilty of that? <laughs> random? Really? No, random acts of Twitter babble. Really? Yes. Huh. Thank you. Didn't mm-hmm. notice that. 
Yeah. Search Twitter. Can you chaos? <laughs> <clears throat> so uh, yeah. uh, the, other, the other question I have is uh, privacy. So how is that kind of up to the user then? Because I was kind of trying to figure out how to put in location. And, and I notice some people put addresses in and other people kind of put their cross streets in. And, you know, I mean, how is that just kind of open to the end user? Do you have like best practices or is this kind of just new technology and you're kind of seeing how how it plays out uh, yeah we kind of I mean the adding places is pretty much open to where you can put whatever you want so we kind of decided to just kind of wait and see and see what most users do and it it's a it is a mix um, there's definitely been um, a lot of comments on get satisfaction about essentially your residence um, wanting to have like a private place and essentially, you can do that now with, like you said, just put your your neighborhood rather than. That's what I did when I when address. I put the house Strange Love on. I just put Zellwood Westmoreland, mm-hmm. and it showed us somewhere by. We are currently located directly in Oaks Bottom. Yes, we are in Oaks Bottom. <laughs> <laughs> There's some nice heron and an eagle <laughs> flying overhead as we're doing the podcast right now. So. Yeah, our, our house is conveniently located right on top of the Hawthorne Auto Body Shop. Fantastic. Because nice. I put it a big intersection. Do they close early enough? You don't have the late night, you know, body <laughs> soldering or anything. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah that's kind of, I looked at it, I looked at it, and when I, I told him that I'd put our house on, he was like, did you put the address? <laughs> I was like, everybody already knows where we live, but no. No, I didn't. Uh, no. So is that what commonly people are doing? Is there kind of their home address is kind of the general location, and then they're... You know, the coffee shop, of course, and businesses and there places few, that they hang out. I've seen or, a few people who put their address on, and I was amazed. I was like, wow. Yeah. Yeah, we're kind of just, you know, watching and seeing and see what the most common practice is and what right. what we feel is um, correct, and then just kind of formalize that process so it's a little more straightforward to the, the new adopter on uh, to make them comfortable. Uh, we want them to add their house, um, but be comfortable in doing that. Right. Because you're... Your close friends, when you shout from that says "I'm home," uh, even if you don't have the address, your close friends know where you live. So, exactly. Yeah. Or your spouse. So that's that's key maybe, information. Maybe your spouse yes. knows. Where I don't. Know. I don't want my spouse to know where we. Well, live. if they shout from someone else's home, then <laughs> that's another issue. Um, it has been really interesting though to see how people how people have used that. So we've um, so Miss Burroughs, for example, has different rooms in her house located mm-hmm. and. We have Don and Todd's pad, and Todd has his office decked out in Corinthian leather or something like that. He's got a, a separate location specifically for his, his office. And I noticed you guys have the Strange Love House and the studio located mm-hmm. as, as two we, separate locations. Oh, we do? <laughs> yeah, yes, we have the strange okay. the House of Strange Love and I'm then sorry. the House of Strange Love studio. I didn't shout. I forgot to shout that I was coming yeah. down to the studio, though. I was a little preoccupied Somebody didn't with tell me we had the studio. Yes, it's its own entity, just in case... Directly you know. below the house of Strange Correct. Love. We're actually now underneath Oaks Bottom. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 absolutely, with the submarine. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. On the island. Of Dr. Moreau? Ex- no, of Dr. No, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Sorry, wrong doctor. Yeah. Um, so, uh, other things that are interesting in how people... have you, Because when you launch something like this... You start to see your users. You start to be, see people gather and start using it. Any other surprising or interesting things that people are doing with Shizao right now that you're kind of like, oh, I didn't think that people would do that? Definitely some of the places people are shouting from. I've seen people shout from berry bushes. Yeah. <laughs> was that Don P? No, that was Sam. Oh. <laughs> Don asked me the day before where they were, so I thought, uh, well, I'll just I, I knew it. Give the lat long. Had to have something to do with someone <laughs> named Don. Berry bushes. What kind of berry bushes were they? Uh, blackberry. Did you under, specify that in your shout? Uh, I think it's a delicious blackberry patch. <laughs> Want to search for that? It's a location you can shout from now. Fantastic. <laughs> any um, any plans? I mean, I'm sure there's lots of plans, but. Um, anything that might get, um, you know, kind of integrated with something like, for example, like a Google Street View or, or something like that, where you can actually shout and then kind of click and actually see the location that they're shouting from, like at a Street View you, level? You haven't been playing with Shizauna. Uh-oh. Actually, I don't think it's got the Street View. I've been doing it on the iPhone. It does have, it does have the, satel- the satellite image. 
yeah yeah or the or the combination of the two there's the map the satellite image mm, and the, the combination hybrid. yeah which mm. is my favorite i like the combo i haven't done it on my pc at all i've been purely been working with it on the on the iphone so i don't know if it's something you know so when you go into the map, explain that. When you go into the map. Someone who's not me, explain it. <laughs> <laughs> we have the map. We use Google for maps right now. Um, okay. And right now we have the, the pretty and simple then you map. Can hit you the can satellite. do SAT or yeah. hybrid yeah. or street view. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we don't have, uh, sorry, we don't have street view to where you're, you're seeing the right. images of businesses. Right. It's, it's certainly possible to do that, but it's not integrated right now. Probably not on Safari on the iPhone, though. Huh? It's a little limiting sometimes on the iPhone. Yeah. I mean, that's a iPhone issue, you know. I mean, eventually. So. But we've, we've thought about, and I've seen mentions on uh, Get Satisfaction about other services, uh, like Yelp, um, services like that uh, to, that seem to be a natural match of oh yeah location-based and all sorts of... Uh, um, I think the That's interesting part too will come in when we open up the API and people can start building their own integrations. I, I think that'll be just fascinating. I think it'll be really interesting to see what other people come up with. Absolutely. I mean, you look at what people have come up with for for Twitter, and there are all sorts yeah. of bizarre applications using the Twitter API. Absolutely. So I have a question for you, and it's something that I kind of wondered, and I wasn't going to ask until somebody brought it up earlier this evening, uh, especially in Portland. Why didn't you guys go with an open ID login system? <laughs> uh, we have a there's a track ticket open for that. <laughs> <laughs> there's an, an advisor we have uh, on staff who's is concerned about that. So <laughs> it's it's on our list. Concerned about implementing the feature, or, or that just, we need, just need to, we need open ID. Yeah. Concerned yeah, sure. that Portland people will like riot and form a mob, pitchforks well, I mean, and when torches. You're doing this in your off hours after a full day of work, and you know, trying to get this thing going. I mean, you can't do like everything at once, right? It's like it takes time. <laughs> yeah, These things take time. I yeah, still I mean, had to ask: Are the open ID people would be after me with pitchforks? <laughs> I don't need the pitchforks and the torches at my oh, door in the middle of the night. Just tell them to settle down. <laughs> settle down, open ID Everybody people. Everybody just settle chill down. out and have a drink and just settle down. Um, it, are, are you are you guys are you guys in the kind of in the in the mindset of actually getting funding for Shazow? I mean, are you open to that, or are you kind of do you want to kind of grow this organically and start slow and then? come to a certain point where you think you want to have outside funding i think we'll need funding at some point if we want to <laughs> if we want to grow um to any significant amount um exactly when or how we do that we haven't figured that out yet give the money please <laughs> we have so many ideas for things to do but we have so little time to work on it comparatively with the full-time day job if we could just spend our time on this there's so many places to go with this yeah yeah and funding would allow us to do that yeah it also let us scale out of portland quicker mm -hmm. there yeah. we go so if you're outside of portland and you'd like to use shazam more practically <laughs> give the money and maybe you can <laughs> see i'm shilling there you go nice or you can give me money i'll take the money too no, 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 no. <laughs> They're the guests. They want the money. Okay, they can have the money. That's fine. Although you can give us a little taste, right? Yeah, there's commission. Share the wealth. Um, so last week at Lunch 2.0, it was Rick Tarosi's, because we haven't mentioned him yet this evening, Lunch 2.0, and predominantly we talked about you guys. Was that exciting? Was that kind of your coming out party? Was it kind of your, you know, 16, sweet 16? <laughs> it, was, it was sort of our coming out party. And it was something we'd been talking about with, with Rick well in advance of, of the actual Lunch 2.0 event. He was actually one of our alpha testers as well. So mm -hmm. he was in a little bit before the private beta. So that, that was kind of the plan. And, and those of you that know Rick know that, know that he tends to divert as much attention from himself as quickly as he possibly can. I so that, no. I think he saw Shazow as a very convenient way to get back off the stage very quickly and let somebody else talk, mm -hmm. which he's very good at. How many, f 
how many folks, or can can you tell us about how many folks are currently on Shazao right now in the in the beta invite program? Can we? <laughs> <laughs> I think we just crested about three hundred. Oh, okay. Uh, a day or so ago, I saw. And are you looking at it from by. a from a scaling standpoint of okay, we're scaling pretty well here. Now we'll open up some more invites and add some more people. And, see how that goes yeah we're gonna start opening up a lot more invites after we get the server moved and determine that everything everything looks good with the move i'm gonna probably invite a bunch more people and um, we're gonna give people some additional invites to use as well great but you handed out some invites this evening uh, a couple yeah random people that i ran across at beer and blog who didn't have invites yet my spies are <laughs> everywhere it's <laughs> called twitter <laughs> i know everything yeah, i think so- i gave away three or four at beer and blog Pretty much the message is, if you really don't have an invite to Shazow and you want one, just show up at Beard Block, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and yes. beg someone. Get some yes. puppy Be dog nice. eyes. Maybe buy somebody a beer or two. Or maybe. a gin and tonic, maybe. Or a gin and tonic. Good method. There we go. And you just might get an invite. So if you find us, you can get an invite, but you need Shazow to find us. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's a vicious, vicious circle. So what else do we got? Any other questions? Does the studio audience and or the chat room have any pressing Shazelle related questions? Although the studio audience does not have a microphone. I, I do evening. have a comment from the chat room that said 300 Portlanders, great job. So Thanks. someone's very Thanks. thinks you guys are doing a great job with that. And that is good. I, do I we think know who that someone is? Uh, Ustreamer, 8, 9, fun, whatever. Oh, hello, Ustreamer. <laughs> <laughs> um, so any closing thoughts? Anything... You want to talk about with Shazow anything uh, in the works or something we haven't talked about yet that you want people to know about? I would just want to say, you know, thanks to the the community, the local community, and how they've embraced it, and uh, all the feedback we've gotten on Git Satisfaction, and um, I have, you know, Shazow members answering questions before before I can even get to them, so. <laughs> That's always helpful. Yeah. Yeah, the community really, the Portland Tech community has just been really fantastic about the whole Shazow launch. I mean, the feedback has been, the feedback has been great and people have been just really supportive of of the whole effort. So it's, it's been great. The tech community in Portland seems to be a lot more um, embracing of personal relationships than just hiding behind their computers. A lot of other cities, it's not, it's not the same case. Um, The relationship seems to be as or more important as the tech in Portland, and I think that, that is a really great match with Shazelle. Yeah. yeah, we have very social geeks in yes, Portland. Yes, very, very <laughs> social geeks. Well, thanks a lot, everybody, and Thank good you. luck with Shazelle. Thank you for having us. Thank thanks. you very much. Thanks for joining us for another tech edition of Strange Love. Have a great evening, and join us next week with Scott Gavitton from Video.